A Fayetteville woman accused of driving under the influence is the driver who killed a 16-year-old girl. Kaylin Adams was handing out church flyers when she was hit. Channel 2's Matt Johnson live in Fayetteville. And Matt, neighbors say speeding's a problem on the street where that young girl died. And just within the last 15 minutes, the girl's father came here to the scene. He tells me that the family is staying strong throughout all this. A cross is now here where the 16-year-old girl died handing out flyers for her father's church. Neighbors tell me that speeding has been a problem here for a while, even in a school zone. This neighborhood with an elementary school is not where residents expect to see speeding drivers. But Saturday morning, police say an out-of-control driver under the influence of drugs killed a 16-year-old girl handing out church flyers. It's 35, and she was going 60, 65 because of the impact took the little girl out. This is a picture of Kaylin Adams that her mother gave me. She was going door to door on Hood Avenue with flyers for nearby Middle Fayette Church of Christ, where her dad is the preacher. At around 9:30, witnesses say a driver in a white pickup truck swerved off the road and hit Adams and a woman in her 60s. She put her head down. She knew what she did, and she took off. A cross marks the place where Adams was killed, and the other woman suffered minor injuries. Police say the woman's husband chased the driver as she drove away from the scene. Authorities arrested 42-year-old Marcia DeMarcus minutes later. I get, people get a little more relaxed because it's a prescription, but if it's a narcotic, if it's something that can affect your driving, you don't need to be out on the road. Vic Bay says he's hesitant about even walking along the road anymore after witnessing the crash. Hey, I don't want to see nothing like that again because that was a little girl. That's why, that's why it felt like it was a little kid. We went by the family's church and service was canceled over the weekend and also this week. The family tells me they've been very appreciative of everyone's prayers. Live in Fayette County, Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News.